to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're going to be unboxing my new coffee grinder. This is a Breville BCG 800. It's a bird grinder and we brought it yesterday so I'm just going to unbox it and show you what it's like. So let's get the, the bits out. It's a huge, very nice looking toolbox with a, a glossy finish on here. We've got the um, manual, the plastic aside, and just pop this down on the floor, try and lift this unit, Set to section now, here she comes, so that's coming out of the middle here, just take that cover off, okay we've got the hopper here, and one of the things that's really a appeal to me was that the take the bits out the middle the bean hopper on the top of this machine was airtight so the beans stay fresh in here you've got a, a lid here which has got a, a rubber ring around it and it's airtight and also like a lot of the uh, pro coffee grinders when you turn this center dial in here it locks the bottom of the hopper so that you can lift it off of the machine and keep the beans intact, they don't drop out the bottom. Okay, what else have we got? Here's the machine itself. This is the grinder, as I say, it's a stainless steel burr grinder. This isn't um, a bad machine, it's, uh, it's a little lighter than I thought it might be. It's, uh, I've researched and researched the different um, coffee grinders. You've got a little hopper or a little catcher here, and that again is completely airtight, and there's an airtight lid that goes on there, so if you're grinding coffee in bulk, uh, you can grind it into this little container that sits under there. Yeah, it lines up there with the, um, the exit mouth of the, the grinder and you grind into the canister and then take that, pop that back in place and seal it, keep your coffee. Now I'm not going to be using that. One of the main reasons that we wanted this particular coffee grinder was it, it one of these. It's, it's got two, two different size group holders. This is to hold the, the coffee group, and I think this one here would be ours, and that should slide onto the machine here perfectly. Okay, and what that allows me, come over to my coffee machine and get the group, that allows me to put my, my coffee group straight in there and grind down into the group. So we're only using exactly the same amount of coffee that we we for, for each shot and not uh, having coffee going stale on the side. So that's what I got this for guys, that's why I went for this model. Got a little brush, a little brush for cleaning out the, the grinder inside. Um, you see here, it's got a little plastic sort of a vinyl cover over the digital display. Now I'll turn this on in a moment and we'll have a look at it. I'm just going to show you on the bottom here guys, the, the coffee machine has got a, um, because this is an unboxing, everybody wants to see everything, so the coffee machine has got a little unwinder on the bottom there, so you can set the length of the cord, so um, my cord won't be too far away from the wall socket, so I'll have a fairly short uh, cord length on there. Okay guys, I've switched that on now, and you can see... The LEDs come on and it said uh, lock bean hopper. So we've got to put the bean hopper, it won't, nothing will operate without the bean hopper on. It's got a nice grey backlit LED, a bit like some of the cars have now, it's quite nice. So we'll take the bean hopper and this has got two little alignment notches here which you sit in line with the top of the machine and that sits, sits on there very easily and we just turn this quarter uh, clockwise and it locks it on you can see now all the LEDs lit up 
and we'll just uh, we'll then pop the airtight lid on the top. But I'm going to get some coffee beans and we'll pop it in here and give this uh, machine a try. Okay, so I'm just going to add some coffee beans, fresh coffee beans into here. And let's have a look at the controls here. We've got the amount here, which is a shot, one shot or two shot setting. And then this digital dial on the side, we can adjust incrementally how fine. So we're going down to an espresso on the right. And on the left, we've got percolator filters and plungers, the coarser grains. And then we can adjust the shot uh, less and more to suit our different uh, portrait filter sizes. So these I've already read in the book, this is an 8% increment up to 40% more and 8% increments to 40% less. Your portrait filter goes in here, little group filter goes in here and then you can press the start, let's just pop the lid back on here, keep the beans fresh and we can press the start button and let go and that will start to automatically now see I let that run a full uh, a full sh uh, cycle and that's giving me way too much for my porter filter so I would adjust that down to less now I could have just stopped it with the stop button there as well Okay, I'm just going to take that out now and tamp that down. Yeah, you see, that is a little bit too much coffee in there for my, for my uh, shot. So I would adjust that down maybe 8, 16% less. And the grind feels uh, a little bit too gritty as well for, a, for an espresso shot. So I would probably take the shot setting down a little bit finer. Okay guys, there you have it. That's the unboxing of the Bevel BCG 800. It's a great little machine. Um, we'll give it a try over the next couple of weeks and maybe I'll uh, make some comments down below as to how well it's going. Uh, if you're looking for a burr grinder to be for a domestic environment, I wouldn't think this is for a professional environment, but for a, burr, a decent burr grinder, I can highly recommend at the moment the BCG 800 by Breville.